that one down there, we just get one sanitary for everybody. This lady got her hand. Well, none of these fish are on the site. They don't know what they are. You know, they may be very endangered and very rare, but they have to be listed on site. They're not listed on site. You've got to realize that in most, you know, the Rift Lakes have been very steady, but I can still tell you there's a lot of fish that ain't here that have been brought here. When you go to a country like that where no, there's no commercial exploitation, those fish are not described how they are. It's a generic. These are all cut or eye, even though every river has a different form. You still need permits from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Though. Only if you're in a commercial situation. So agriculture or wildlife doesn't... Ag don't care unless you have plants. You bring plants back, then you get the Department of Agriculture involved in this stuff. Oh you know, I, every time somebody tries to bring back plants or tadpoles or anything that's not fish, I stop them. Because, or you let me go through line first. <laughs> so when they start harassing you, I'm gone. Uh, I've had a U.S. Fish and Wildlife permit for years, and I've never used it for that. I imported fish from the business. But as a U.S. citizen, there's nothing that says, there's no law that says you can't bring fish back. So, so there's, there's a walking catfish or a scenario or or, or a fish version of zebra mussels just waiting to happen is what you're telling me. Uh, yeah. Okay. So there's foresight. Yeah, well, they're tropical fish. I mean, people... So Florida. Huh? So it's Florida. Yeah, I caught 33 different species of cichlids in South Florida that are not, you know, that are all, you know, exotic that have been introduced. So it's responsible hobbyists that keep that from happening. Unfortunately, there are other people that's why there's carp everywhere. They were all goldfish. And fish farmers in Florida are wearing floods. It floods. You yeah. go down on any fish farm, there's a fishing pond below all their ponds where it's just slap full of everything. Like Rip Barrel has a big dobe eye and he has to try to eat everything up. Well, he says it goes in there, the dobe eye eats. And that kind of keeps. Oh, man. You ain't lying, man. I'm gonna tell you lie. Posing too. He <laughs> Real hard sickness. Heck yeah, man. My man, ooh, Daryl. And right. Greg. And Greg. Woo, they done racked up. Man, it looks like Christmas. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. oh, Red Tiger Motor Gwincy. Hell yeah. Bob Midas Pig. Orange Midas Pigs. Don't forget the expecting one. Oh, yeah. And yeah, we do have one that's suspecting too, yes. She's full of eggs. Ooh, she got a nice blue mouth, too. Oh, you ain't lying. Yeah. They Thank got the hookups. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate you. Appreciate, Thank you. you. appreciate you guys. Thank you. Right, oh, we be back. Yeah. All right. That's my Woo, this is the proper way to transport fish. Bonnie has his beautiful dove eyes. They're around one to two inches. I like that. It's like a fail safe system. <laughs> what is it was June 30th, 2013. My good buddy Lonnie. <laughs> Thanks, Lonnie. Well, let me shake your hand. Thanks, Skip. You like your purchase, Lonnie? Yes, I do. Very happy with that. <laughs> and you're going to take a good care of them, right? Yes, sir. You guys heard them on YouTube. You're going to take good care of my fish. You're going to make sure they grow up nice and healthy, and we're going to check them out later on. Yes, sir. Coming to you live. Stay out of Real House 6 Aquatic Kennels. I'm out.